let's run some videos, maybe. Uh, attack on Titan. So. It is obviously darker than the regular monitor because it's not emitting any light. But I think that's the reason we bought it. That's good about it. This is a little dark scene, so you can see that it's quite visible. Uh, so that's what I did, like I bring it closer. Uh, and then I have this light here. If I can bring it down and then it is visible. But bad thing about this light is I can see LEDs reflection here. So what I do is even that uh, ceiling light is better. I can still see a ceiling light reflection here. It might not be visible in the camera. I tried my best, but I can see that. So that's the problem I'm facing uh, right now. So I will move it away so that you can see the screen. Now it is a little darker than what I see on the light. But I mean, I I don't have any choice to make the video, and you will be seeing that reflection here. So that's the video, which is I watch on this one. This looks good, and let's run some SQL Server. Uh, you can see if I do some error. You will see that that's really clear. Dark side is clear. This white area is really clear. Uh, what one thing I did is I I just set this uh, um, color to light and the theme to light as well. So everything is brighter, in a sense. Uh, it's not emitting light, but it's not making it dark as well. Otherwise, this monitor looked really dark when I set the dark mode. I think we don't need dark mode on this monitor. And let's do some, yeah, uh, go back to SQL Server. Uh, we can see really readable, no lag at all. Uh, if we scroll up and down, no mouse lag, nothing. Everything looks good. Design mode, you can see table design mode. Here. Uh, let's see, stroke procedure. There's no stroke procedure in this database. But anyway, this is good. Uh, going back, let's say, let me type this here. Well, if you run it, uh, doesn't take much time. No ghosting at all, like e ink monitor. That's really good about this one as well. Um, dark board, this is really good. Only issue is when I set this, I set this uh, SQL Server Merriman Studio in dark mode. So when I do that, uh, this is a little bit difficult to read, but I can still read it. I cannot read this one, which is not selected, but that was the same scene on the uh, regular monitor as well. So it's not this monitor issue. So this looks good. Let's go to, let's say Visual Studio. This is Visual Studio 2022. And I set here as well, 
theme blue, not the dark one. So I'm setting everything light here. And because I'm not using second monitor, so this was, uh, I'm using only single monitor. I'm using Alt tab to switch the applications. So that's not a problem for me. So let's say we do some dev work here, drag and drop some controls. This is Windows application, uh, data grid view, and let's see where's the label here and we go to properties here we can set whatever text test text and properties test button everything like a regular monitor but it's not emitting that light but it's it feel little dark it feel like how do we say like we go in the dark room and everything before turning on the light everything is dark this monitor looks something like that but the good thing is it's not emitting that light so this is good uh, let's try visual studio but web applications so we can see different colors, good, uh, class name, this is XAML code, Blazor code, Blazor applications, so you can see that. I think I said XAML, it's not XAML. So. MVC code. If we make any error here, it is not showing that error, but let me try to create that. Yeah, here, yeah. delete the bracket. You can see this red sign. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. Everything looks good. So, okay, let me run this application. We'll start it. Oh, this is Microsoft browser, it's a counter application, fetch data, looks good, everything good here. So there are a few issues I will discuss later, but other than that, it's really nice monitor. Uh, let me run the other Windows application as well, just in case. So, yeah. This is good. Uh, let me so open the Microsoft Excel sheet. Maybe if you want to use that. So I'm just randomly doing that. And let's highlight this area with yellow, this area with green, this area maybe with gray. Yeah. One thing is like if you're buying this monitor to work on colors, like if you're a graphic designer or something, I would not suggest that. This is not really, I don't feel like these are accurate colors. They're a little different than what I see on my, I have LG 4K monitor. So 
these are a little different than what I see on that monitor. But for programming purpose, for Excel sheet work, this is really good. Uh, color red, looks good. Uh, bold. Or if you want to do something like formula A1 plus B1, B2, works well. So close this one. And what else? Yeah, this is command prompt. Let me see. So command prompt is that is very clear as well. And at this time, this I my lamp is a little higher, so uh, but still it is really clear. Otherwise, I bring it down. Uh, to make this video, I'm just keeping it up so that you don't see reflection here on the top. I can see reflection, the ceiling light here, which is annoying. So I have to find solution for that. I will give you a solution just in case. If you're buying this one, lighting is the main issue. If you're buying this one or you're buying e-ink monitor, lighting is the main issue. So you have to be like, be careful about what you're gonna do about that. So let's go back. Okay, so this is still running. Uh, I wanna show you something, some suggestion if you wanna buy. So I tried these lights. These were the best option. I tried this light here. It, I see reflection, my ceiling light give me reflections. This, uh, this lamp, which I bought it from Amazon, uh, this one. This is 20, 20 watt light, big light. It's like 31 inches light. And even this one gives me that uh, reflection. So I don't like this one either. I, can, I will share the link if you wanna buy this one, but I don't like it here. So let me turn it on. So instead, I would suggest buy something like this. this these are soft studio lights. Uh, if you, even if you have e-ink monitor or if you have this monitor, for I didn't try on this monitor, but on e-ink I tried this one and this was the best solution I had, the best reading I can get on on that e-ink monitor. So I would suggest buy something like this. But problem is like if you keep it on the, your, with your chair on left and right, then when you get up, you can just can fall, you can topple, something like that. So I was thinking solution to get something like this. This is a pole, you can uh, put it on between your walls. Uh, my, this is, uh, I'm sitting in a basement in a corner. This is a very dark corner. So I have this background lights as well. But this is really big basement room. But if you have smaller room, you can use this one. Uh, this goes like 145 inches wider. So you can put it between the the walls and you can hang lights on this one. Um, thinking about using this one, maybe if I buy this, then I will be making another video as well. Uh, okay, about the uh, mount. So on Sunbeam website, they have this mount that you can use this mount. So I order this one. I order, I order also order this one. This is like a converter between 200, 200, 100, 100, so these are 200, 200, 200 by 200. Uh, these are, I think, 100 by 100. And then something like 75, 75, so, so it has all kind of things. So what I was planning is, I will, uh, there are two screws on 200 difference on the back of this monitor, on default. So I was planning like, uh, put two screws here, 
and then this way it was this 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 difference is 75 sorry yeah this is 75 so this difference but on the back of the monitor this is this lower screw is like 80 millimeter 80 millimeter centimeter millimeter yeah mm so this difference is 80 instead of 75 so what i was planning to do is like drill here on 80 and this will fit 200 by 200 is fine so i was planning to drill here and then make this a waste amount but to my surprise uh this monitor has waste amount 75 by 75 this is i think this is a new thing because in start they were giving me giving this option to buy this one but when i got this one this monitor i will be showing in my uh, unpacking video as well so on the back of the monitor they have 75 by 75 waste amount uh, uh, new drilled holes so they have this 200 by 200 as well but a standard 75 so all four they have it they have 200 by 200 here but 80 by 80 here 200 by 80 they have that as well but they drilled new holes for 75 by 75 visa i tried that uh, on the um, arm i tried using it but it doesn't work on this one the reason is we need a light which can reflect on it and then we can see it if i you can see this is tilted uh, monitor so i'm using the standard uh, uh, sunvian display monitor stand and it is on uh, i'm not using this amount even though i have it i can use it but problem is like we need this light to reflect on it so we can see it so if i keep it straight it gets really dark and I was really disappointed in the start when I, because when I received it, I just installed this amount and then I started using it, but it was really dark. I could not see it. So I was like thinking about it, what should I do? And then when I use this standard stand, what they have and tilted it, now it is really clear. I can see it. So I don't think we need this amount. Uh, I will maybe re try it. I am been using this one for last two weeks. So maybe is there any other update with waste amount or with the usage and something like that. I may be updating another website, another video as well. And then I have planned to upload comparison between this monitor and uh, the song e-ink monitor as well. So uh, there's plus and minus for both when i'm using this one i like remember that the sound monitor so I will, I will, i'll be comparing both so yeah coming back to waste amount it has it but i don't need it because i'm using this standard monitor even though i have this my desk is like uh motorized desk it can go up and down but it stays very stable so i'm not really worried about that that it will fall so that is the thing so yeah i'm using this uh desk lamp uh, i think this is called architect desk lamp right now but my plan is to buy this these lights and then hang these lights on this pole somehow i have this big ceiling so i need to figure out how should I do it so that's my plan so I will be maybe updating that as well 